Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, third week of March reading start from the 15th through 21st of March 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. So before I get into the reading, uh, I would like to remind you that this is a general reading. It may, it may not resonate uh, with everyone out there. So just pick whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and you can also check out my sister's channel. I will be leaving the link to her channel in the comment section if you like it to become a part of her YouTube family as well. Now hold on uh, and let me pick up the cards. Yep, so yeah, uh, let's see. I will be adding charms and I will be uh, pointing out oracle cards as well. So stay tuned um, and let's find out what are the energies heading towards the Cancerians for this uh, week time. King of Pentacles, Pair of Red, Three of Pentacles. Let's take two more cards. Ten of Swords, Pair of Red, Six of Cups. <clears throat> underneath the deck you do have Four of Cups. Underneath that, the Wheel of Fortune. Underneath that, Two of Cups. Underneath that, the Hangman. Underneath that, the Eight of Cups. Okay. I feel like for uh, for some of you, I feel like you will be um, it seems like you know there is going to be something in your uh, in your financial situation or at your work front. There is going to be something uh, happen there, which is going to. Um, It's, it's more of the energy where, where something's going to happen uh, in your work front, which is going to benefit you in your love life. Um, it would be different for different people. For some of you, you might meet someone new through your work, uh, you know, during this week time, which is like, you know, your work life is going to one way or the other help you finding your, you know, your soulmate, your, your person. For others of you, I feel like, you know, you are going to... Um, you, you might get some sort of holidays coming up for you from your workplace. You are going to take some time off from your workplace, which is going to help you have some time with the person that you love, with the people that you love and care the most. It doesn't have to be a specific someone. It can be a family as well. For others of you, it can be a specific someone as well. So I feel like, you know, something's going to happen in your work front, which is going to uh, have a positive impact in your love life as well. Um... It's it's gonna be something more of a, of an opportunity, which is uh, which is uh, something coming up your way, which is going to help you. Um, you know, whatever the situation may be at your workplace right now, I feel like you know something's gonna happen uh, during this week time, which is going to uh, give you an opportunity to take some off from your work. Um, it it could be you know maybe you 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 will be sent to another city, another country to for your work purpose and you are eventually getting some time off from this, you know, uh, everyday work that you go to. And while doing so, you might take your person along with you. So it could be that for some of you, but it could be, you know, the, the other situation that I mentioned for some of you as well. Maybe, um, for, for some of you, I feel like maybe you are going to, uh, end a job and then you are going back to your home country home uh, home city for some of you if you are living away from your family i feel like you are going to go and spend some time with them and your work is going to get on a pause or a, on a hold of some kind and it's it's going to resume later on so while you are taking some time off from your work i feel like you are going to spend a lot of time with the people that you love and care and it has been some time that you spend that quality time with the people that you love and care the opportunity that is coming your way I f i'm saying that i'm picking up with the uh, as an opportunity so i feel like you know even if you are leaving the job it will be out of your own choice because it's an opportunity for you to spend some time with your your with your person with your family with your with your people who you are close to 
um in case of if you are meeting somebody new uh during this uh week time through your work i feel like um in that situation i feel like you know you you might uh go on a visit to a certain city country place with your person and that's how you are maybe with your colleague and that's how you are going to bond together in a in a better way and um and it will be again like an opportunity that's going to that's going to happen for you it's not something that you're looking for it's going to come your way during this uh, week time an opportunity to meet the one to have some time with the one with the family with the close people that you are uh and spend some quality time with them be that in the in the shape of a ending of a job be that in the shape of a, an opportunity that uh, that you get through your work to to fly over some other place to travel to another place it does not have to be you know fly thing like maybe it's not that distant but for some of you it could be for others of you it could be just going away from the place where you work maybe you know a uh, one hour drive or two hour drive that could be the case for some of you as well but again that's going to give you an opportunity to spend some time with a person who could be your one uh uh you know who could end up being the one for you as well so yeah um so let me see if i have anything else to say here um let's take one quick clarify for this ten of swords okay it's four of swords For some of you, when the opportunity is going to come your way, you will be kind of reluctant to accept it or to uh, to reject it. But it is definitely going to bring you something good in your life. So I would definitely suggest you to go and grab this opportunity that is coming your way. Um, and don't hold yourself back. If it's a new job offer that you are getting, go ahead, especially if you are single, because I feel like you are going to meet somebody new because of that person. If you are already in a committed relationship, but I feel like, you know, it's high time that you take some time off from this current job and spend some quality time with the person, with the family. Uh, and after having that time spent, you can definitely, you know, join another company or another, uh, you know, uh, job or start another business or whatever it is. Because I feel like, you know, time off from your work is definitely on the cards for you. So let's take some Oracle cards. Let's see what the cards has to add to it. Let's see. <clears throat> Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Um... It's, it's more of a quality time that you're going to spend uh, with the people that, that are either already somebody very special to you or if not, then they are going to become one. So this week is definitely going to be significant for your love life and it is somehow connected to your work life as well. It, it's not uh, directly, but yeah, indirectly it is connected. The more energy and intention uh, I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. It's, it's for those of you who are reluctant to accept the offer that is going to come your way. Go for it, grab the opportunity, and it is definitely going to make you fearless about this new opportunity that, that you know, uh, the fear of the unknown will be kind of, you know, um, taken away from you as, as you, uh, as you kind of, you know, tell yourself that whatever that new opportunity or that offer that is coming your way, if you accept it, be, uh, be assured that, you know, this, uh, this, um, this offer, this opportunity is definitely going to open new doorways for you to have success in different areas of your life. So keep affirming that thing to yourself, whatever change that's happening for you, it is definitely going to, um, be good for you for, for, for your, you know, it will be aligned with what you truly desire to have in your life. Uh, so yeah, don't don't feed your fear during this uh, you know uh, this time when you are you know in a in a situation where you are either leaving a job or uh, grabbing a new opportunity, grabbing a new you know uh, offer of some kind. Uh, for those of you who are single, I feel like you know. Um,
for those of you who are single and fearful of getting into relationships like get to know each other like you know nobody is asking you to rush into something you know more than just being friends just know uh just just try to know this person first especially if somebody is reaching out to you offering you a cup of love don't say a no to this person directly there and then because maybe you have been in a bad relationships back then try to you know um try to allow it to enter in your life the good things the good um you know friendships also like i said get to know this person first uh maybe you 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 know even if you don't end up being uh their specific someone or they don't end up being your specific someone still they they will prove to be good friends at least so just just expect some good things from it uh don't uh stop yourself or uh you know get fearful like what if it goes wrong and stuff like that what if it works just just think that way patience um Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play while you wait. Um, for those of you who are ending a job or uh, something happens because of which you have to leave the job, I feel like, you know, you really have to have patience and you really have to have the belief that everything is going to work out. Again, keep affirming good things to yourself. Stay positive. Spend some quality time with your friends and family. Meanwhile, you are, uh, you know, search, uh, you know, uh, meanwhile, you are searching, you know, the job, the new, uh, you know, workplace. Try to spend some quality time with the people that you love and care. Let's take some chance now. Okay, when it comes to the alphabets, you do have an E. So it could be your name initial or name initial of the person that's, uh, you know, entering in your life or you already have. It uh, it could be uh, the, you know, the company name where you work or it's, it could be the name of the company where you are going to start your job anew. Um, I do see you are going to have a new beginning for sure, be that in your love life or work life. But whatever the beginning is going to happen, it's going to happen as you end something in your work front or you accept something new in your work front, be that an offer to travel to something, be that an offer to, you know, uh, of getting a new job or something. So an ending and a new beginning is coming up for you for, uh, for this week time as well. So, um, you have to leave behind something for sure. For majority of you, I feel like, you know, it, uh, it is going to be, um, you really have to leave behind certain things, certain people to, to grab this new opportunity that is coming up for you. So just, uh, I feel like things are going to happen very quick. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's going to be, um, it's going to be very hard for you to kind of, you know, um, you will be getting fearful of the unknown. I, I feel that coming through, you know, it's, it's something very dominant in your energy right now. Uh, even though you don't have to like, you know, whatever the delays, uh, you know, even if you are ending a job or if you're being fired or if you are, you know, uh, you have to you know, uh, leave a job for whatever reason. I feel like, you know, you really are going to get very upset, but you you don't have to because I feel like, you know, you are definitely going to end up getting a better opportunity as compared to the one you are, you know, having right now. But um, you are unable to see that coming. It's, it's more of you, you, again, you really have to feed your faith, not your fears. So just, just stay positive. Whatever that is ending, whatever that you are leaving behind is going to be good for you. So you are definitely going to meet. For some of you, maybe you are not ready to leave a job because there is a certain someone that you have, uh, you know, feelings for. If you are not leaving or ready to leave that job because of that one person, I feel like you know, it's high time you give up on this job and find a new one. Maybe the one you think could be the one for you, you are going to find that person in the new job that you're going to find or that you're going to have in future. So, um... Stay positive and never, never give up and give hope. So, um, yeah, stay positive and uh, rest assured whatever you're cutting out of your life, whatever you are starting new in your life, it's going to be bringing you a lot of uh, new beginnings, that too, which are positive and uh, stable because I do see that coming through for you because there are positive changes happening in your life, but maybe you are not going to be in the zone where you would understand or you would see it coming. So stay positive. Feed your faith and stay patient. And um, uh, while you are being patient with the with the this new beginning that you're gonna have, um, try to have fun with your life. Especially if if you are going to wait for something new to start in your work front, 
uh, try to have some quality time with the people that you love and care because when you have to focus on the things that are not working they are going to stay stuck if you switch your focus to the things that are working things are going to speed up for you so yeah uh, try that if you are dealing with any situation of uh, that sort in your life so yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for the Cancerians for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading. You can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.